Hey guys, it's Murph. We're back with the 1080 Ti Armor Edition. I've mounted up the Arctic uh, Accelero 3 and it mounted up really easy. I got to keep my base plate like I wanted to. Base plate's still on there. Um, the 4-pin fan header went right into the 4-pin fan header on the board because there's only one anyway for the two fans on the original Armor card itself or heat sink, whatever it is. So those two fans went right into one header anyway, so now the three fans on this will go into one header. There's a little bit of extra wire, and I'm going to have to find something I can do with it. Um, basically, uh, long story short, it comes pre-applied with thermal paste, but it's a smaller square than the die on the PCB, so I added a little bit of more MX4 on the die because I had some here, and uh, Arctic uses MX4 anyway, so it's all the same. So I added a little bit to make sure the die got covered with thermal paste. On the back, you use the screws, and then there's black spacers. They're kind of hard to see because they're so dark right there. But there's black spacers, and then there's a thermal pad that goes underneath the middle of the back plate. Okay? And then on this side, as you can see, there's a clear spacer. It's the 2.5 millimeter spacer. That goes in each corner, and that goes between the PCB and uh, the mounting bracket on this. I would that's what I would call it um, the screws on this it looks like it kind of bent if you look here in the middle on that mounting bracket right there but I only hand tighten them and I didn't crank them down or nothing so I mean if it did I don't know I didn't tighten it very hard I hope I didn't break anything because at this point I haven't tested it yet but it's definitely on there um, I had to use a oh, great tape sticking see on this side I had to use four of the heat sinks because those were the only four memory chips that were uh, bare the other ones are underneath hold on the cameras drive me nuts right now the other ones are underneath the uh, base plate so I just left everything alone because that has thermal pads on it already okay guys so it's on there. Next step, I'm going to put it in the computer and we're going to see hopefully we got good temps and hopefully I didn't kill this card because it's a 1080 Ti. I'll see you in part three.